Bonjour, Willy Mix today for mixing from the studio. So what I got today is how to make a bass track sit in a jazz funk mix. So I got a band called Black Snail and the song is also called Black Snail. It's a full analog mix as you can see. And the track was really well recorded and sounded like this. Okay, so... This is here the bass channel on 15 and let's see with and without the processing to see how it sounds. So it's helping the bass to sit and mix and feel the lows in the center of the track. So let's solo it to show you exactly what I did here. Okay, that's different, but not a whole lot. Let's start with the EQ first and pause it so I can explain it in further details. So, it's a boost around 250, 300, and a narrow cut at 600 with another boost at 1K, and a little bit also of high pass filter to let the sub kick breathe a little more. So why I use a boost and a cut in the similar area, it's because I started boosting at 1K and I didn't like the resonance the boost entailed. So I ended up carving it out for more precision and clarity. So let's engage the insert to see. So the insert on the bass is going to this Chandler Zener channel on THD mode for saturation and harmonics and into the second channel of the Zener for compressing with a slower attack and medium please to not destroy the dynamic but still providing a bit of control. The limit mode on the Zener is closer to a Fairchild 660 or 670 so it's not limiting as we can understand it from a digital limiter. Also, I use the sidechain high pass filter to not alter too much of the low end. And this is the global processing chain. Let's do a comparison again in the mix to see how it sounds. Okay, so that was my mixing trick from the studio for bass in a jazz funk track. Hope you liked it and uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and blah blah blah. And have fun. Cheers! <laughs>